Link uses some awesome swords, like the Master Sword and the Gilded Sword. But this sword is a bit bigger. Well, actually, it's the same size as the largest sword used in history. The Legend of Zelda is a game that revolves around sword fighting and solving puzzles. So there must be a wide variety of swords like the Kokiri Sword, Gilded Sword or the Master Sword. Which can be obtained by doing side quests or the main quest. But there is one sword which is way bigger than all the others. And in my opinion way cooler. The Big Goron Sword, a large two-handed sword. This gigantic sword can be used by adult Link to slay all kinds of monsters and beasts, but it has to be handled with two hands. But how does Link get his hands on such a sword? The sword can only be obtained in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The Big Goron Sword is the strongest sword in the game, dealing twice the damage of the Master Sword. The Big Goron Sword does not break after any number of hits, unlike the Giant's Knife. Which is the version of the sword made by another Goron named Medi Goron. When sheathed, it has the exact same size, hilt and sheath as the Master Sword, even though the Big Goron Sword is extremely different in all three of these aspects. But lucky for us, it was fixed in the 3DS re-release of the game. The game states several times that Big Goron Sword can't break, however during the quest to obtain it, Link obtains an item called the Broken Goron Sword. Which is apparently a broken version of Big Goron's sword. Though it may be considered a different sword which only becomes truly unbreakable after being reforged. To acquire the sword Link has to complete a fairly long and complicated trading quest with multiple stages. Some of which are timed. Big Goron, the sword's creator, is found at the top of Death Mountain when Link is an adult. After Link hands him the eye drops he had to deliver to him, Big Goron will begin forging the sword. This takes... Three days, though the wait can be shortened with the aid of the Sun Song. Big Goron Sword can be used in the battles against Ganondorf and Ganon, but it cannot deliver the finishing blow, as it does not have the power to repel evil that the Master Sword has. But how long is the Big Goron Sword actually? Well, after comparing Link's height to the length of the sword, I found out that the sword is around 180 centimeters or 5.9 foot, which is the same length as Link himself. Link is of average height compared to the other Hyrule citizens, and the average height of a human is around 180 centimeters. But is a sword of 180 centimeters or 5.9 foot even usable? The sword is the same length as Link, so it has to weigh a ton. Well, they actually used such types of swords in the late Middle Ages, so that's around the 15th to the 16th century. They were actually not that heavy for their size and used with great effects. These swords are called Zweihanders. The Zweihander, which is German for two-hander, is a type of large two-handed sword. The Zweihander swords developed from the Bastard Sword or Long Sword of the late Middle Ages and they became a hallmark weapon. These swords represent the final stages in the trend of increasing size that started in the 14th century. In its developed form, the Zweihander has acquired the characteristics of a polearm rather than a sword. Due to their size and weight, they are typically at least 1.4 meters or 4 feet in length and with a weight of over 2 kilograms. Zweihanders require two hands, as such they require at least 25 centimeters or around 10 inches for the grip. Earlier Zweihanders were simply longer versions of long swords. Later examples had parrying hooks. These hooks were used to block off swords that slide it down the side of the blade and made it easier to deflect the sword blows. Some Zweihanders had wavy blades and were called Flammenschwert. By the second half of the 16th century these swords had largely ceased to have a practical application, but they continued to see ceremonial and representative use well into the 17th century. Some ceremonial Zweihanders called bearing swords or parade swords were much larger and weighed around 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms. But who used such huge swords? The German Landsknecht. They were colorful mercenary soldiers with a formidable reputation who became an important military force through the late 15th and 16th century Europe. 
Maximilian I, also known as the King of the Germans and the Holy Roman Emperor from 1493 to 1519, formed the first mercenary Landsknecht regiments in 1487. The German king called upon George von Frunsberg, who was a South German military leader. He was sometimes referred to as the father of the Landsknecht and became the leader of the organization and assisted the German king in creating the organization. Landsknecht later went on to fight in almost every 16th century military campaign, sometimes on both sides of the engagement. But how can Link use such a long and heavy sword compared to his master sword, which is twice as light and half the length? Well, the German mercenaries used such swords to hack off heads of enemy pikes or more likely to knock the pikes aside. Which creates disorder among the tightly arranged enemy pikemen in order to break through their defensive lines in a battlefield for example. But Link seems to be able to use this weapon a lot better and faster than the German mercenaries. He can easily stab with it using one hand and that's near impossible to do. But how is Link able to do something like this? Well there was once a Frisian hero named Pier Gerlofs Donia who is famous to have wielded a Zweihander with such skill, strength and efficiency that he managed to behead several people with one single blow. The Zweihander he used is now on display in the Frisian Museum. It has a length of 213 centimeters or 6.9 feet and weighs over 6.6 .6 kilograms or 14 and a half pounds. But we have seen that Link on his own is stronger than a normal human. He can push and pull huge blocks while a normal human could never be able to do this. But his strength got insane as soon as Link got his silver and later on golden gauntlets. The gold plated gauntlets are even more powerful than the silver gauntlets and may only be worn as an adult. When worn they grant Link immense strength allowing him to lift rock pillars which based on their appearance easily weigh several tons, then throw them behind him to reveal a new door or path. So in the end it turns out that Link uses an almost perfect copy of the German Zweihander, also known as the biggest sword in history. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content or check any of my other videos.